In Peglin, everything is balls. Your projectiles are ball. Fire is ball. Even you are ball. Everything is ball, except for the pegs, the sworn enemy of ball. And ball is life. Get rid of all my balls. That sounds like a terrible idea. Let's do it. Oh. Oh no. Ever feel like life is knocking you about? Like a ball in a rigged pachinko machine? Like no matter how hard you try, you get knocked off course from your intended path in life? That sounds rough, buddy. My advice? Consume products! Remember that funny Peggle game back when you were younger and life wasn't as miserable? Let's slam some miserable roguelike mechanics into that game! Because pain is the only thing I could still feel. And for bonus points, let's make it exactly like Slay the Spire, because... Well, because... It's what we do. In this game, you start out firing rock balls, and for every peg you hit, you do a little bit more damage against these assholes, who you only have a few rounds to kill before they hunt you down and tickle you gently. And by gently, I mean cleaving in your soft goblin skull. On top of the regular pegs, you have the crit pegs, which cause your attacks to do significantly more damage, but randomly warp around the stage every shot. Then there's the bomb pegs, which take two hits to clear, but will do solid damage to all enemies on screen. And then you have the green refresh pegs. The more pegs you hit, the more damage you do, but the less pegs there will be for your next turn, which is both a blessing and a curse. You gotta hit pegs to do damage, but once you do, they're gone. So what's a green goblin guy to do? Smash that fucking refresh peg and get them all back, which is good. Unless of course it covers up all those bombs at the bottom, which would be bad. And finally, and most importantly, are the money pegs. These are the reason I wake up in the morning. Not only are you trying to take as little damage as possible, each fight, but you want to try to collect as many of these bad boys as possible, which can be difficult with them spread around everywhere, refresh orbs, recovering up the hard hit ones, and the occasional time you just beat the enemies quickly. What's the money for? Buying items and new orbs. What do items do? You know all those rules about the pegs I just explained? Every single thing I said is a lie, depending on your build. Bomb pegs now only need to be hit once and blow up all the pegs around them, and also damage yourself. Crit pegs now lower your damage, refresh orbs now Crit. Money orbs now give you more damage on top of money, and regular pegs, they don't even break now. But even better than items are the balls. You start with just rock balls and a dagger ball, but after every fight you could buy or upgrade some new balls. Zap balls hit huge chunks of pegs with every bounce. Cactus balls root enemies where they are Ow. and damage other enemies that pass them. Sword balls just do damage. They, they aren't that special. But Matryoshka balls get split into eight more smaller balls when they're fully upgraded to wipe the entire board if you get your hands on one. And this, wait, this isn't a ball. This is an egg. Go egg. Oh, with all these tools at your disposal, the game should be easy, and it totally can be if you get a good run going well, but it can also be pretty brutal. Ranged enemies can spawn in any fight, and they could just start beating the crap out of you from turn one. A fight could have several hundred HP worth of enemies, and that's just from the early stages before you even have power-ups. The bosses are even more brutal. The slime boss charges you and shoots you with ranged attacks as you piddle away from the pegs from the outside. Once he reaches you, he doesn't just beat the crap out of you, he completely absorbs you. Bad news, you're about to die. Good news, you can now fire in any direction. However, if you could fight your way out of the early game and pick up some good items, things could get real stupid real quick. Binding of Isaac has some pretty silly combos, but Peglin has practically indestructible bouncy pegs with balls that magnetize to all the crit pegs. Sometimes you get wiped early, and sometimes you ascend to peg godhood. But more than anything, it's quite a lot of luck. More so than most other roguelikes. Like here, I don't even know what's happening here. Am I doing a good job? The numbers keep going up, so I must be doing something right. Here, I can't even see anything, but the ball refuses to go down, so that keeps my spirits up. Here, I want to go down the path with the treasure, but fate has other things in mind. That's right, even which path you go down is entirely up to the balls, and brother, these balls are neither kind nor merciful. But that's okay, for every unfortunate run, there is that run that is just perfect, where you pick up all your favorite balls, you take out every mini boss in your path, all your relics sync up perfectly with each other, and you do your full damage every time you hit any peg. <laughs> So the game is fun. Could use some updates as it still feels a little rough around the edges and I would like to see some new playable characters. Assuming the game does actually get updates in the future, it's 100% worth picking up for ball lovers of all ages. A new